but today we really prove that socialism wins. <laughs> Our next guest escaped socialism in Venezuela and survived Mao's communist revolution in China. Daniel DiMartino and Xi Van Fleet join us now with their message for America. Xi, I'm going to start with you. These are young people who are touting socialism. Socialism wins. Tell us what it really means to live in an authoritarian state like that. Yeah, I just want to say it's so ironic. 36 years ago, I ran away from socialism. Uh, when I left China, come to this great country for freedom. Today, so many Americans abandoning freedom and ran into socialism. They have no idea what socialism is about. I lived under Mao's socialism. When the government controls everything, make all the decisions, big and small, it decides how much grain, meat, uh, uh, cooking oil I could have, uh, what I should learn in school, where I should live, and what job I should have, and how I should think. In the uh, socialist society I lived under, there's no choices, there's no freedom. And that's what people do not know. Socialism becomes such a diluted word, and it's intentional. I can tell you, China is a socialist country, Cuba is a socialist country, and so is North Korea. They are socialist country uh, run by communist parties. And what's the difference? What's the difference between socialism and communism? Not much. Socialism is the initial stage of communism, according to Karl Marx. Yeah, you're so right. Thank you for reminding us about that. Daniel, tell us about your experience living under socialism in Venezuela. Well, my, I think my experience should scare Americans because I used to have a middle class family life like most of the people watching did and do. And we went from having cars, from having a home, from going to school every day, to not having electricity, to me having to line up for food, to the government telling me which day of the week I could go to the grocery store. That is what socialism did to Venezuela. And the voters don't understand that in New York, and that's why Christian Gonzalez won. But the scary part is that she does know what she's supporting. In fact, the organization that supports her, the New York City Democratic Socialists of America, sponsored an event in New York City that I attended to protest because they brought three people who work for the Maduro regime to advocate against U.S. sanctions to these corrupt members of the, of, of the regime that oppresses my nation. So these people claim that they want to turn America into Denmark, but then they meet with Venezuela's dictator, not with the Danish prime minister. Uh, so I think that that should tell you everything you need to do about who they are. Yeah, it is very interesting. These young people certainly don't know what you're saying. I think we all got a little taste of socialism and authoritarianism during the pandemic. Um, but seeing these young women uh, take these prominent positions um, is a little bit scary for our future here in this country. And we're really grateful to people like you who give us a very clear picture 